Nothing moved except Midnight's jawbone. Something Mama said was a definite sign of a man's anger. He reached in his back pocket, pulled out a stack of bills. First thing in the morning, I'll take you out to get some clothes. Don't worry. I realize you're a high-maintenance bitch. Gotta keep you up in the style you're accustomed to. How many fighters do you know find themselves in the middle of the goddamn war and all the fuck they think about is fashion and the clothes on their back? Hell no. You won't ever be my right-hand man. I was impressed with the big stack of bills and excited about going shopping. I wondered if this was his money or if Santiago had given it to him and he knew all along that he had orders to take me shopping. Maybe it was a little bit of both. Maybe he was using his own money, but knew Santiago would pay him back. Okay, one last question. I pushed, knowing I was aggravating him yet enjoying the attention. What clothes are we going to wear out to go shopping in the morning when all of our stuff is dirty? Never mind. I know, the laundry service. As I pushed eight to call down to the laundry room, he put his finger on the phone, disconnecting my call. With a muscular hand on my shoulder, he said sarcastically, Think like you come from the project. Take your clothes off and wash them in the sink. Hang them up by the heater to dry. You know how to wash clothes, don't you? The laundry service is closed now. It's almost midnight. After stripping the three bears and tossing their clothes in the sink, I put them under the sheets and blankets. I talked to them about the things we were going to do tomorrow and assured them that everything was okay. They knocked out to sleep one by one like clockwork. I slipped off my dress and stood checking myself out in the bathroom mirror. Thank God I listened to mama's advice about always having nice, clean, sexy underwear. If I was a tack head, I could have got caught out here with some beat up drawers on my ass with a shit stain and a big old hole in them. Just a thought cracked me up. I peeled off my panties, undid my bra, and put them in the sink. I stepped in the shower and let the warm water turn hotter, steaming my whole body from the tension of my crazy day.